This is definitely not going to be like my normal content. Welcome to the channel. My name is Paul. We're going to get right into it. Essentially, our dog Ranger became paralyzed over the course of four days. We were getting ready to put him down and I ended up saving his life. So let's get right into it. And by the way, I want to mention I'm not an expert. Always consult with an expert about these things and I'm not trying to pretend like I'm an expert. I think I just got lucky in all this. So just keep that in mind, a little disclaimer, I'm no animal expert. So I'm gonna to try to make this quick. Someone's using a leaf blower over there. So the timeline goes, Brittany went to take Ranger on an adventure. When he jumped out of the car, he yelped like he was in pain. Brittany said she was concerned at first, but then he played as normal. So she figured, okay, just a fluke. Well, the next day that evening, while we were watching TV, we saw that he was walking a little funny so with the yelp walking a little funny Brittany took him in to get checked out the next day they had to drug him up they essentially x-rayed his whole body and they diagnosed him with IVDD and DM these are degenerative uh, issues and essentially kind of a death sentence uh, we were told that laser therapy can help slow it down so we scheduled him to have four treatments one time every week for four weeks um, to try to slow it down well about four days later after the Yelp he was completely paralyzed we got him a sling from Amazon to pick up his back end he was still able to use his front end uh, we take him out to go potty and stuff like that he was pooping and peeing on himself it was not a good quality of life we took him to laser therapy um, that veterinarian also diagnosed him with having the same degenerative disease and it just was not looking good we tried to make an appointment with a neurologist and found out that it was going to be three months or more to even see a neurologist. Um, in the meantime, we were doing the laser therapy. We didn't even know why because he was obviously at the end stages of this degenerative thing. Um, so we did the most humane thing and we scheduled his euthanasia. The day before his euthanasia, I just binged all the information that I could on IVDD and DM. I wanted to know, why are we putting down our otherwise healthy dog? And this happened so fast, I just couldn't believe it. While researching everything I could about the degenerative thing that he was diagnosed with, um, it just didn't fit the bill. It seemed like all those animals, it happened progressively over time, where with Ranger, it happened over four days. So it just wasn't adding up to me. So in researching all those things, I came across this thing called FCE, also known as a spinal injury or a spinal stroke, and it checked all the boxes. Um, Brittany was doing her thing and she got home and I told her about it. She was very skeptical. She essentially said there's no way that two veterinarians, we had two veterinarians tell us that he had IVD and DM and there's no way that I'm right. I don't know anything about animals. But she said she'll agree to give it one month and we'll see if we see any changes. From my research, a spinal stroke, you don't see any improvement for weeks, sometimes not even months. And then if you do see improvement, it could take half a year to even a year or more for them to fully recover. So 16 days in, I took him out to go potty and I saw his legs bicycle a little bit. And then the next day we took him to his second laser therapy session and he was bicycling with his back legs. He wasn't able to bear weight, he wasn't able to walk, but he was trying to walk and it looks like I was right. I continued to do mobility exercises with his back legs. I would massage his back legs. I'd do mobility exercises. We took him to laser therapy. His last laser therapy, say that 10 times fast. His last laser therapy session, um, he walked himself in. And as of right now, the recording of this video, we're probably over two months of all this happening and he's about 90 to 95% recovered. Um, he's still a little wobbly sometimes in his back end, but I'm able to take him on walks. Um, he's back to going on adventures again. Um, he's even jumping up on the couch and jumping up on the bed. So it looks like he's going to make a full recovery, which is awesome. Um, I've read that if this happens, that most animals do make a recovery of some sort, um, whether it's 90% or a full recovery. However, we did speak with one person where they said this happened to their animal and they didn't recover at all. So just keep that in mind. 
and let me know in the comments below if this has happened to your animal um, or maybe this is going on with your animal and you've been binging information like me and you just came across this video and you go holy moly this checks all the boxes of what's going on with our animal I read that it can happen suddenly like they're playing and then boom they're paralyzed or it can happen over the course of a few days like what happened to Ranger I've also read that after the first 24 hours it's painless um, it doesn't hurt them at all I'll also leave in the description some links about FCE and I also read that this can happen to other animals too besides dogs so anyways there you go like share subscribe and I will definitely see you guys on the next adventure yeah